Welcome back to Barn Build Fabrications. Today we're gonna to be installing the parts here that I have in my hand, which is gonna allow us to be able to switch between one tank and two. You can see the riding on the pavement. Young kids that grow up in basements. Now, a few of you guys commented on the video where I introduced you to the shop air system that I'm running. And I mentioned there that I wanted to come up with a way to switch between the single tank versus the two because having the high volume is great, but it does take a long time to fill up. So if you just need something like airing up a tire or an inflatable or something, it could kind of almost be more of a pain. It's not very practical. So allowing or installing these parts is going to allow us to be able to do just that. So I'm going to get these installed. I'm going to start a time lapse. And then whenever everything's in, I'm going to get you guys in. We'll kind of go over what these different parts are and how we laid it out. So everything went together pretty much without a hitch. I'm gonna get you guys in here now. I'm gonna show you the different parts and pieces and why I chose the layout that I did. So before the way that this was ratted is we had this half inch line right here, just came directly from this tank, went around the back, dropped into this second tank, this 80 gallon as an expansion tank. And then we came out of here with this valve and that hose ran over into our uh, air water filter system. So what I did to change the layout is I went and I took a 45, and it's a little hard to see, and I took a 45 pipe fitting, half inch, with a nipple, and then I used this three-way ball valve. You can see the arrows on it. Right now I do have this pressurized, and it certainly aired up a lot quicker. But with it in this direction, you can see, I went and reduced down to another short little jumper hose and then I went into a manifold block and this allows me to have both inputs into it. This will back feed pressure into this line. So we will, whenever I want to run just that one tank, I need to close this valve. That way this line will pressurize, but the tank will be empty. And then we have some auxiliary ports, one in the front, one in the back, if we want to add anything in the future. And we come back and tie in. So it's pretty simple, uh, straight forward and whatever. It works, seems to work really well. So whenever we want to change which tank we're using, we just want to turn this over. Now you can see it's airing into this other tank. I'm sure that's really loud on the camera, so I'm gonna close that. But anyways, we what we would need to do is just change this valve, and fill this up, and then open up this valve here, and that would come into this line here into the manifold. And then again, this will back feed as well, but whenever we change this, it closes off this direction, and essentially it will do the same thing that this valve over here is doing with it being shut. It just started raining, so I apologize if it's noisy with the rain hitting the metal roof. It's just light right now, but there's a storm coming up behind it. So I'm going to end off the video here. Another quick one, straight to the point. Hopefully this helped you guys if you have something similar, or if you just found it entertaining, awesome. So get outside, get wrenched on something, piss off your neighbor, disappoint your mom, and until next time, keep on keeping on. But wait, there's more. Stay tuned for next week. We have a new project that we're introducing to the channel and we have a lot more automotive content coming. So if that's your thing, be on the lookout for it. See you later.